It says for the problems 15 through 18, round your answer to the nearest hundred. So for number 15, it's asking for the side length SR. And SR is going to be adjacent to your angle. And 63 is opposite, so that's going to be the tangent. So we're going to do the tangent of 44 is equal to opposite, which is 63, over SR. And since this is in the denominator, we're going to divide those. So SR is equal to 63 divided by the tangent of 44. And plug that in our calculator. It says round to the nearest hundredth. So SR is approximately 65.24. Number 16, same thing, we're asked to find the side length. This time it's EF, which is right here. This is adjacent to the angle, 51, and we're given the hypotenuse, so that's gonna be cosine. So the cosine of 51 is equal to adjacent, which is EF, over 18. Since this is in the numerator, we're gonna multiply those. So EF is equal to 18 times the cosine of 51. So 18 times the cosine of 51 rounded to the nearest hundredth, EF is going to equal, or approximately equal, 11.33. Now these two are asking for side lengths, these two are asking for angle measures. So this time we're going to have to use the inverse <coughs> to find the angle. So here's the angle that we're asking for. That we're asked to find. This is your opposite side. This is your hypotenuse, which is going to be sine. So the sine of h is equal to 15 over 17. And then in your calculator, you're going to do second sine, which brings up that inverse. And then we're going to type in that ratio, 15 over 17. Again, we're still rounding to the nearest hundredth. <coughs> So angle H is equal to 61.93 degrees. Same thing on B, or on 18, we're finding angle B. This time, this is your adjacent, this is your hypotenuse, so that's gonna be cosine. So the cosine of B is equal to four over five. And you're gonna do your inverse of that ratio and that will tell us what angle B is. So angle B is approximately, this time we do second cosine, four fifths, and we get 36.87 degrees. <clears throat>